YouTuber friends, my name is Justine, I'm the Mermaid Seamstress, and today I will be reviewing the Finnis Rapid Monofin. So this was the very first monofin I ever used in a mermaid tail, and honestly, it holds a favorite place in my heart. So. What I like so much about this monofin is it gives you a lot of power. It's also got some really awesome foot pocket designs. Um, the shape is not quite as mermaidy as I'd like, but I have some recommendations on how to deal with that. Um, but this is a great fin, especially if you're looking for something powerful enough to take you into the ocean. The fin is rapid is offered at a number of places, uh, Amazon being one of them. Um, you can find it on the Finnis website. It's on a lot of different swim outlets um, and swim websites because of how great it is for monofin training um, and for recreational swimmers as well as professional training. This monofin runs for about 80 US dollars on Amazon. Um, and I think it's slightly more expensive on the Finnis website, but not by much. This is a great monofin for people of larger feet like myself. Um, men's u.s sizes it runs from an 8 to a 12 and in women's u.s sizes it runs from a 9 to a 13. i've had my friend try it on who's a size 12 and a half and they say that it's really really comfortable unfortunately it only comes in this one color and the problem that i have with it um is that if you're using a thinner fabric this black the black detailing here as well as the black writing on the fin do show through fin the thinner fabrics um, so you want to make sure that you either are doubling up fabrics or you can put a piece of tape or something over this to cover it up and to make it blend in a little bit more this is a really amazing monofin um, for beginner mers as well as more experienced mers um, especially if you want to go in the ocean with it it's a very solid fin it's very durable this fin has lasted me eight years so if you think about that that's ten dollars a year for this monofin and i think that it's really really worth it um, especially with how much i swim in it and you can see there's hardly any damage on it whatsoever. So starting with the foot pocket, these foot pockets are really comfortable to swim in. Um, they're really squishy rubber on the top and this black is the same rubber so you have a really good grip. The open toe pocket design allows water to flow through as well as those with larger feet um, to not feel cramped in the toe. It has these really good rubber straps um, on the heel, these are th have three attachment points, two on the ankles, and a third, which is a hook. Um, the third, which is hooked onto this middle point. So it's this. So the same strap runs down through the hook and around. And what's nice about this hook is that if you need it to, it pops off. These pop off on the side, and this strap is completely replaceable. Um, a replacement strap will run you about uh, $15. Uh, I personally have never broken this strap. This strap has lasted me eight years, um, and it's not brittle or um, stretched out in any way. But if you need to, it's much cheaper to replace the strap than it is to replace an entire monofin, which is what a lot of monofins nowadays you have to do. Um, so this is what the monofin looks like without the straps and to replace the strap you just hook it back on to the middle point until you hear that click and then these buckles are a really excellent safety feature so these buckles there are little buttons here on the side and the buckles just snap on like that to release there's a pinch here and pull off these safety release straps are a really excellent feature especially when you're swimming in a tail or in and in the ocean um, you want to be able to get out of your tail as fast as possible and you can pinch these side things from with your tail still on and I'm able to get out of this really fast um, I've had to do this a couple times there was one time where I was uh, 
swimming with this in the Bahamas and I saw a shark um, and I had a fish on my spear and I needed to get out really fast so I just pulled it, um, took it off, left it in the water, got in the boat and hooked it with a gaff later. So not really sure if it saved my life but it definitely uh, made it a really quick release. And that is a feature on both sides. Now, the one downside about these buckles is that they do stick out quite a bit from the fin itself. Um, and you can see them inside a tail, which is not uh, the greatest feature, but it's something that if you're not too concerned with the aesthetic of it, it's definitely more a positive than a negative. And one really cool thing about this monofin is that it is huge. The blade is about 24 inches across by 24 inches long and that makes it really great um, for if you're a larger mermaid creating the illusion uh, of proportions. Um, a bigger fin is going to make you look you the mermaid looks smaller which I was one thing that I really liked about this mermaid the way I like to my flukes to look um, I generally say that choose a fluke choose a monofin that is at least as wide as your shoulders and that'll allow for a really good uh, proportion from your shoulders to your monofin the the large blade also helps with propulsion this this blade is extremely great for propulsion. It's got these ridges down the side and these stabilizing ridges um, down the middle of the monofin, which makes it really sturdy when bending this way. Um, however, this monofin is also very flexible. So I have carried it to class before, folded up like this. This is not going to permanently damage it if you don't put too much pressure on it. If I hold it by the two ends, I used to put a strap around it and just carry it to school like this for swim team. Um, and as you can see, it doesn't really permanently bend it out of shape at all. I find this blade also flexible enough that it doesn't give me foot cramps hardly ever, um, which I really appreciate. In terms of durability, this fin is really durable. I've never had problems with the straps. Um, as you can see, there's no damage um, to the blade. There's a couple of little scratches and scuffs, but I've had this fin for eight years, probably even more. Um, and it's, it's never given me any problems. It's never broken on me. There's nothing peeling or ripping. This is absolutely great. And it's going to be definitely be a good investment in terms of how propulsive it is it's not as propulsive as the carbon fiber monofins um, like the competitors or the finis shooter but I'd say it is a little bit more propulsive than the Mahina monofin so this is a really good fin um, I recommend this for use in pools in lakes you can take this one in the ocean providing your tail doesn't have too much drag um, this is going to give you a lot of propulsion if you are swimming in current in areas with current this fin will work it will propel you against the current just make sure to be safe and smart and don't swim anywhere where you wouldn't be comfortable swimming in in bare feet you know be aware of your surroundings and how strong the current actually is if you choose to bring this monofin out um, and always make sure you know you have somebody on hand who can rescue you um, if you need to. I will say that this rounded design is not very popular with mermaids um, in terms of what people traditionally think of as a very mermaidy shape, but it will be really good if you're looking to imitate fish like gobies or clownfish or other types of fish who have this kind of round fin shape. Um, but of course, you know, if you like the shape of the fin, then go for it. You know, there's no rules about what a mermaid has to look like. So if you like this and you don't mind it, it's a great starter mono fin, regardless of the shape. Um, I have heard of people cutting these monofins and apparently they are pretty easy um, to cut. 
just make sure that you don't add any harsh corners that anything you put especially in the center you don't want it to come to a point in the middle you want it to be rounded um, and that just ensures that you're not going to have a weak area where the monofin is going to crack on you um, and this is pretty important for this type of monofin which has a plastic blade in terms of making a mermaid tail for this um, I have this very lovely two-toned tail that I wear it with um, this tail is probably six or seven years old and you can see that the the body of it has started to fade it used to be a really nice turquoise um, color and now it's turned to kind of a, a gray black um, but the fluke is still very sparkly and shiny I guess it's uh, partially to do with the fact that this is turquoise on turquoise and so and this is turquoise on black so probably what happened is the color came off uh, these foil dots leaving just the shine behind but you can see through to the fabric um, this one is a closed fluke design but you can do and that's the easiest to do with this monofin but if you wanted to you could do an open fluke design you just have to leave a little bit more um, fabric at the end just because there is a rounded edge um, and it's possible that the fabric could slide down I just wanted to show you guys kind of the effort that it takes to put this uh, into a closed uh, fluke tail and it's quite extreme actually um, what I have to go through so I bend it in half like this um, so I'm, I'm putting it you know this doesn't have a zipper or anything down the side um, that would be another option if you did want to do a closed fluke design um, you'd have to I'd recommend putting a zipper um, on a significant portion of the side of the fluke because I have to roll down the entire body of the fluke and uh, fortunately this has a lot of space in the ankles um, this tail has a lot of space in the ankles but if you don't leave enough space in the ankles this isn't gonna work because I, I literally have to put it down I roll down the tail and then I have to shove the um, monofin into this and this really isn't good for your tail and you can see that you know over time it's kind of ripped some holes into it so basically it goes like that and you can see there's a lot of pressure on this bottom seam around seam around my ankles here but if I continue pulling this down and rearranging it eventually you know it'll line up and <laughs> it's twisted here you can see that and there we go um, so when it's dry you can't really see the ridges but when it's wet um, the ridges that are under here you can you can see them or when you bend it like this so that is something to keep aware of if you don't like that look it kind of reminds me of rays um, real fish have like really small bones or bone like structures in their fins um, including their their tail fin um, that keeps the spacing um, it, it's kind of like boning if you use boning you know in, in stays or corsets it's the same idea so that's what I pretend it is but if you don't like it this might not be the fin for you um, or you should put a thicker fabric over it like a neoprene um, but what I would recommend is if I was to do this I'd leave a little bit more space before the tassels and I just sew kind of from here to here or you know from here down from here down and leave this part open so that it's it's easier to get in and out of if you want to see how the rapid compares to other monofins make sure to check out my monofin playlist um, linked in the i card and the description box below if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below whether you are an ocean mermaid or a pool mermaid and what kind of tail you would make with this 
This is a really great mono fin for starters, beginners, anything like that. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn more about me, what I do, and see more videos about mono fins and mermaid tails, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification button to get updates. Um, feel free to check out any of the videos in my description box as well as the rest of the videos on my channel. I have swim videos, I have monofin reviews, I have tail skin reviews. Um, upcoming I'll have some tutorials on how to make your own mermaid tail um, as well as some tips on designing and choosing the materials for your mermaid tail and your monofin and all that. As always swim safe, swim smart, and happy swimming. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye fish friends.